Hi guys, how are you? I'm sorry again that I'm in my um, gym gear. I'm about to go to yoga. Apparently that's all I do at the moment. Um, I really recommend it to any people out there who are feeling stressed or just want some kind of relaxation because it's amazing and it's really hard and boys do do it. Just anyway. So today's video is a bit of an unusual one. I thought it'd be fun to do some facts about me that you might not know or be aware of. Maybe it won't be very interesting and you'll just turn off straight away, but anyway, I'm just gonna tell you a bit more about myself so you know I'm not just literally someone that talks about science all day, every day. So, because I'm not very organized, I don't actually know how many facts this will be, I just made a random list and didn't number them. But anyway, fact one is, you probably guessed it, that I'm not wholly English. I am in fact half British, half Chinese, and so that's where my terrible eyesight comes from, and my super dark hair and my brown eyes, which are nothing like the Lindsay side of my family. Next up is, I am a massive Harry Potter nut. I freaking love Harry Potter. I think I've read all the books a million times. I do like the films, but for me it's all about the books, and more recently the audiobooks, I splashed out, and oh my gosh, they are so expensive. I splashed out on all the audiobooks January this year, and I think Martin will back me up on this. I think I've listened to every single book about five or six times since then. I like listening to them when I'm falling asleep, and then I end up listening to the same bits time and time again. But yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Third fact is that um, I'm really into playing football. At Cambridge, I was captain of the girls' football team. Um, so yeah, random fact about me, I really, really like football. Fourth fact, well, who's guessing the fact that I won't actually be able to keep track of how many facts I've said. Fourth fact is I have possibly the world's worst eyesight. I am so like blind. I cannot see anything without my glasses on, nothing at all. So the worst thing for me is if I'm like flailing around at night and I knock into my bedstand and I knock my glasses off, the issue I have is I actually can't see my glasses to put them back on. So I'm more likely to step on them than ever actually find them. So that is really annoying. Um, so yeah, don't mess with me when I haven't got my glasses on. I won't be able to see you and I'm not gonna be held responsible for my actions. Then we've got the fifth one, which is a bit random, which is that I'm incredibly impulsive. And I mean really, really impulsive. And it tends to be about really big decisions in your life rather than the small ones. So I'm impulsive about boyfriends. I've been known to like decide that I like someone and then decide that I don't like them within about a minute and then just be like, hey, we're done. Much to their surprise and like, what the hell are you doing? Um, jobs, jobs. I can decide I don't like a job and then hand in my notice within about the same, about five minutes literally. Holidays, whether we want to buy a car or not. Martin and I discussed potentially getting a car. Then I was like, oh, let's definitely get a car. And then we bought one the next day. So yeah, big decisions, big expensive decisions I am horribly impulsive about. The next thing is jobs. I have had so many jobs. I am not someone that stays in a job for years and years and years. So to date, I have worked in a butcher's, I've worked as a cook, I've worked in TV as a runner, so that was like going to do the shopping on a production. I've worked as a researcher in TV, so that's fact checking and looking at development ideas in TV. I've worked for a restaurant marketing company. I've obviously worked as a teacher. That was only one year though, because I really hated it. And I really hate being told what to do. So teaching was never gonna be the right profession for me. This is why I'm much happier being self-employed because I'm my own boss. Next fact is that I am actually incredibly hot-tempered, really, really hot-tempered, something that Martin will definitely agree with. I, I can properly lose my temper really quickly, really, really hot-headed. But luckily I managed to rein it all in in my everyday life, but yeah, if someone gets me on the wrong side, not good. This is dating back to Reading Festival. I definitely lost it inside one of the tents at Reading Festival back in the day. Next one is, um, I love food. I really, really love food. If I could have my way, I would be eating all day, every day. I would never stop eating. It is my favorite thing in the world to do. Food is number one and yeah, I just wish I could eat it all the time and not get fat basically. Linked to food is I really hate fish and I mean all fish. So people I'll often be like, oh, I don't eat fish. And they'll be like, yeah, but you eat seafood, right? And I'm like, no. Oh, but you eat prawns. No, I do not eat any fish. I don't eat tuna, I don't eat salmon, I don't eat fish and chips. I hate fish. I think it's absolutely disgusting. The smell of it on those fish counters, the cloudy eye, the sliminess, no, 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 no fish for me. 
Again, linked to food, I'm scared of sauces, so any sauce. I only started eating ketchup about a year ago. I am scared of all sauces. I, you just don't know what they're gonna taste like, you know? You've got this nondescript, colorful sauce. It might be pink, it might be green, it might be red. What's it gonna taste of? I have no clue. And if it tastes of wasabi, no, no, no. I really hate mustard and horseradish. No. My next fact is I cannot sing a single note in tune, not one. Um, back in the day again when I was on a school coach when I was a kid, I was singing along and then the bus driver was like, whoever's strangling that cat, can they stop it? And everyone looked at me. So there you go. I can't sing. You will never get me to sing in front of you. I cannot sing. I really wish I could. It makes me really sad. Because even things like carol services or like singing at a wedding, it's just not for me. I just have to be quiet otherwise I'll ruin the whole song. Next fact is that I'm obsessed with scented candles and I'm really awful, I'm really obsessed with expensive candles, kind of more expensive the better and I know that's totally stupid. So that means things like diptyque candles which are so annoying because they're like this big and they cost like £40. So I'm one of these people that burns them for five minutes and then it's like right, okay I've burnt it enough and then I'll uh, blow it out. So yeah, all scented candles and it stretches to expensive hand wash as well. I love Aesop's hand wash, it's amazing, but it's far too expensive, so yeah, should stop wasting my money on that really. Uh, my next fact was that I actually went to a private girls school in Warwick, um, which yeah, it was great, but just so you know, I didn't actually, we didn't pay full fees because private schools are really, really expensive, I got a scholarship, so that really helped. I think it reduced the fees to about £50 a term, so thank God for that, because I would not have been able to go otherwise. Next fact is that I'm a massive tomboy. I really don't actually like being a girl that much. I don't like having to think about hair. Definitely don't like having to think about makeup. Um, don't get me wrong, I know as a girl you really don't have to do any of these stereotypical things, but with my job I do need to make sure I look vaguely presentable and reasonable, and I really struggle with that. I never use my hair dryer. The only time the hair dryer comes out is when Martin is blow drying his hair in the morning. I have no idea why. He's got very short hair. It seems totally unnecessary to me. So yeah, I never blow dry my hair. Putting makeup on is an absolute trial. Um, so yeah, not really a girly girl at all. Next fact is that I love extreme travel. So when I go on holiday, it's not a relaxing holiday in the way that you guys might understand. So like lying by the beach, lying by a swimming pool, that's not my sort of thing at all. I actually like to be uncomfortable when I'm holiday. So that means doing things like the five day trek in Colombia. Check out my vlog on that if you haven't already. Last October I went whitewater rafting in Nepal for 10 days, so I rafted along a 300 mile stretch of the Sankoshi River and we had to camp on the sand at night with the stars above us. That is my idea of a dream holiday. I am not the sort of person that can lie on a beach. I go stir crazy because I get bored really, really quickly. Penultimate fact is that I am an only child, which makes me really sad. I've always wanted a brother or sister to hang out with. So yeah, I've always been gutted about the fact that I'm an only child. Are any of you guys only children? Do any of you guys have brothers and sisters and wish that you were an only child? Who knows? The last, last fact is that when I was 20, I actually presented a BBC Education TV show and it was called Children at Work and in it, I was flown to Ghana and I met loads of children that worked in the cocoa plantations there and potentially that was the best week of my entire life. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope it's given you kind of more information about me so it's not just the person that talks about science week in week out. I hope you're all doing well guys and let me know in the comments below if there's any other videos you would like me to make because I'm looking for new topic suggestions. Don't forget to sub and like this video. See you soon guys, bye!